Hey, it's Susan with Fringe Artistry. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps I take for a lash bath for every client, whether it's a new set or a fill. It's best not to put iPads or tape on before a bath because all the motion and water can move those around, which just defeats their purpose. You need to use an oil-free cleanser. Most brands sell their own for you to buy. I use Prolong and I love it. I send a lash bath bottle home with each client and their take-home kits with the cleanser for them to use at home as well. Next, you need to rinse. The easiest way is to have your client turn her head each way and use a bottle to squirt the water over each eye. You can use a paper towel or hand towel to catch the water. Uh, make sure you catch all the drips going down the side of the face. And then use a fan and a spoolie to fluff the lashes after you rinse. Next is priming. I personally put eye pads and tape on before priming. You can wait until after if you'd like. I use saline solution as my primer, but again, most brands sell their own that you could purchase. I use micro, swab, or micro swabs to really get in between the lashes at their bases to remove any remaining oil or dirt. The adhesive needs something to grab onto it, so it's really important to get in between at the lash line. Once again, then I just dry for a final step and fluff with a spoolie, and that's it. You're done, ready to lash. 